Monsters at Work episode 4 just dropped on Disney Plus and um you know what I enjoyed this uh this episode but I think this is one of my least favorites but I still enjoyed it and I think why this was my least favorite is we get introduced to this character I don't remember his name uh he's basically a purple Mike Wazowski and he's evil <laughs> And, well, he's not evil, but, like, he's an antagonist rival to Mike. And it's kind of like, okay. You know, I feel like if you were going to introduce a character like that, it would have been nice to introduce him in Monsters yeah. University. Of course, they didn't plan the series when they made that movie. But it's just, like, it's just weird in the series. Because that's when it would have made sense. And he's not a very interesting character, but... He sets the plot of motion. And the plot of this episode is a bowling episode. You know, it's one of those sports teams episodes where a character goes, Hey, I want to play this sport. Or not, well, not necessarily wants to play a sport, but they want to win. And because they want to win, they end up making their friends feel bad. Uh, because they're not good at the sport and then they realize hey I should do this with my friends and not be a douchebag and they they learn to not be a douchebag and then they are play better <laughs> simple as that and it's kind of like you knew where this episode was going at all times this is also a very obvious episode in the sense I'm moving the camera here because that's better um, this episode also was just very generic even in the title the big Wazowski's like it's very obvious reference to big Lebowski like it's clear that these people the people made this episode didn't really put much thought into it in, in the sense that of the writing because it's just it, you know exactly where this episode is gonna go I'm not gonna say this is a bad episode I'm gonna say it's fine um I didn't like it as much as the other episodes but what I enjoy about this show is the characters and just having fun with the characters. And this was a fun episode. You know, I enjoy watching these characters. I like Duncan. I like uh, that that worker lady. I forget the name of. I like Val. I like Tyler. I like, uh, I forget the other guy who's voiced by Henley, Henley Winkler, uh, you know, Fonzie. Um, you know, I like that character. I like Mike in this show. You can definitely tell, though, one thing about this show, uh, especially watching this episode. They are going to feature uh, Billy Crystal a lot more and than John Goodman as because they probably cannot afford to put uh, John Goodman in the show very much because, you know, while Billy Crystal is still a big-name actor... Like, people know who Billy Crystal is. When pe people when you say his name, people know who he is. He's not currently in stuff. He's not a, you know, he's not a big star like he used to be. He's kind of, he's kind of more retired. He's like Rick, Rick Moranis, where you kind of hear his name around. But Rick Moranis really, really isn't in stuff. Uh, but he's in this show. And so I think, and I think also Billy Crystal has mentioned that his kids enjoy the fact that he's in the show. So I think he likes doing this. Um, you know, but in, you know, in interviews, Billy Crystal was the one giving updates on the show when it was being delayed and stuff, and he was giving updates and stuff. Like, Billy Crystal was the one saying stuff. You know, we don't really hear much from John Goodman, and it, and I think, um, that's okay that John Goodman's not in the show, but I hope that, that they make good use of his absence, and, you know, and when they do have him make sure they use him well like last week's episode i thought was a great use of sully uh and all that so i i don't know i enjoy this episode uh still one of my least favorites uh but still a fine episode